uh, are you still doing what? yoga? Uh, you, I remember you telling me ages ago about yoga, and I heard uh, Joe Rogan talk about it on his podcast. And uh, then you started talk, telling me about it, and I can't remember why I was in the gym one time, but I saw you warming up and stretching and throwing a few things loose, and your flexibility was unbelievable. And I thought, fuck, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm, so I went along to a hot yoga class, and I swear, nice. I never looked back. It's Aye. class. Aye. What a difference Aye. it makes to everything. Give what? Give what? See, anybody that doesn't know about yoga, they probably just think initially, like, oh, it's just to go and stretch and be flexible. And and obviously that is a big part of it, being flexible and being mobile. Um, a lot of people probably, maybe not so much these days, but they used to think it was just older people, like old women doing yoga to get their fitness in and whatever else. But I first started yoga, I shared with to Jonathan Brookins, um, who used to be in the UFC as well. When I first went to TriStar, he was doing hot yoga. There was a room, 40 degrees. Um, he was doing hot yoga. I think it was like some sort of, it was vinyasa, I'm sure. But some of the stuff he was hitting was like, it was really tough, like power kind of yoga, like handstands. And so anyway, they were like, oh, there's a few. There was like three of us that went. Jonathan Brookins, he had went away to India for like a month. And just done like an intense course, got his qualifications, I think, and um, and he was like, kind of, he wasn't really do it, like he was doing doing the class, but it wasn't like official, like he wasn't charging money or anything like that. He, I think it was more just experience for him, he, um, and it was him actually doing his session, but he would talk us through it as if he was teaching it. And oh, it was a ninety-minute hot yoga session in a forty in a forty-degree room. After I think forty-five minutes, I was like, "I'm gonna fucking pass out here. This is <laughs> this is so tough." Like, um, oh, it was solid. Like stand one-legged standing poses and trying to hold it, and and then I just fell in love with it. There, uh, brilliant way to cut weight as well. I was yeah. losing ten pounds of water. I was losing. 10 pounds, almost a stone. If anybody tells me they're injured or anything like that, like especially if it's like a muscular thing or, or like sore back or something like that, that that's maybe due to sitting around a lot, or I'm just like, go do yoga, go do yoga, it'll fix you, yoga. I'm kind of still passionate on yoga. I think it's for everybody. Everybody should be doing it, mental mental and physical. Actually, one of the things I want to do once I'm done fighting, I'm going to, I'm, I'm definitely, go, at one point when I'm done fighting, um, for definite, I'm going to go away and become a yoga instructor. Um, I'm going to do the qualification and I'd like to teach it as well. If nothing else comes uh, of it, you get a brilliant sweat on. Brilliant workout, brilliant sweat. It's good for your mind. It's good for your physical body. It's good for flexibility. It's good for your balance. It's good for strength. Um, aye, it's really good, man.